and it's it's pretty simple. Um, it's that you know when we listen to a record, we think we hear sounds. Um, so if we listen to like Zeppelin's "When the Levee Breaks," we'd say, "Well, that's a kick drum, that's a snare drum, that's a hi hat, that's a ride, that's a bass, that's blues harp, that's vocals, that's guitars." But of course, so we'd say we're hearing acoustic phenomena, we're hearing sounds, uh, but we're actually hearing one sound produced by speaker or headphone diaphragms that's designed to represent or trick our neuropsychophysiology into believing it detects the presence of multiple sounds. So much of the academic record uh, about, about recording practice and record production is a lot like the way I put it is, it's like we study the history of fashion photography, but only in terms of models and how models posed. You know what I mean? So it's like we actually Whoa. missed fashion photography. And so I'm trying to explain that that we're we're doing that with music uh, yeah, yeah. and so that's what these and so i try to help people sort of <laughs> hear that and hear the musicality of what um production people do the creativity how it's not just purely technical it's not just editing it's not just framing a pose um as a matter of fact if you think about sample rates really what we're hearing is a is a kind of stop motion animation and it just happens at a level that that uh, has determined to be necessary for us to believe the illusion. 